Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. In all the years of doing this update, the one thing we have never been here at the Titus Podcast is canceled. You know why? Because we're not douchebags. This is Matt Gates. This is Bob's proud big boy and winner of a Who Has the Head the Size of a Tankless Water Heater competition, Matt Gates. Now, Matt Gates is a representative who was elected in Florida's first district. Yeah, that's the swampy part of Florida where even alligators are considered libtards. He was elected in a landslide in a district where 70% of the people vote Republican no matter what. I'm not saying Matt's a con man who doesn't have the sack to run for an election in a place where people vote for anyone other than Boss Hogg or Buford T. Justice or Larry the Cable Guy. I mean, why state an obvious truth? Matt has also been busted for drunk driving. In 2008, he got a DUI after leaving a bar called, and I'm not kidding, The Swamp. Yeah, the swamp was drained directly into the back of a police car. And Matt hates hate cancel culture. And what is cancel culture? Well, it seems that people who say and do heinous things, things that in a normal society bump up against the criminal or like racism or sexual assault, wearing a gas mask while a deadly virus is killing people, trying to stop black voters from voting, or just plain being a raging douchebag. Black people in the streets that are getting killed. And if one of them happens to be your kid, I'm concerned about him too. And clearly I'm more concerned about him than you are. You should take those words down. When people who do these things get in trouble for it, you know, for doing something horrible and they lose their job or they get banned from Twitter or Facebook or are just plain Nazis who think that six million Jews dead wasn't quite enough. When these people do these things that anyone in a normal society would react to us, wow, that guy's an anal polyp. They claim they get canceled. Personally, I call it facing consequences. Two, two impeachments. Ah, ah, ah. Now, Matt Gates has complained about cancel culture repeatedly. In fact, recently he tweeted, impeachment is the zenith of cancel culture. Ah, uh, yes, Matt, but treason is the zenith of a crime punishable by death. And drunk driving is the zenith of alcoholism. See last week's Armageddon update for more info. Now, to be clear, there is no such thing as cancel culture. Got it? It is a bullshit phrase invented by people whose parents gave them way too many participation trophies for losing. It's an excuse for spoiled brats and narcissists who never got smacked in the back of the head for smarting off to an adult or punched in the face in a bar fight for saying the wrong thing about somebody's wives' sweater puppies. You can compliment a boob job, guys, but you got to do it medically. (sighs) These are creeps who are never stopped from doing what they want when they want. Council culture is an excuse for people who can't and won't take responsibility for being a raging piece of human garbage. And we are a nation of laws, yes. And the First Amendment gives you the legal right to say what you want, but it doesn't give you the moral right. See, that's where you get in trouble because normal, good Caring people know the difference between right and wrong. And when you are a racist, a sexist, a liar, a misogynist, when you talk shit about disabled people, if you are transphobic or hate anyone not the same color as you, most of us just don't want your pathetic, lying, hateful ass around. You're not canceled. You're just not invited to the decent society we are trying to rebuild after four years of a diseased orange fucking rodeo clown. The funny thing about Matt Gates, though, hating cancel culture is that last week, Matt Gates went to Wyoming to attack a political rival, Liz Cheney. He isn't from Wyoming. He has no business in Wyoming. He actually traveled from Florida to Wyoming to campaign against someone he isn't running against. This is my first time in Wyoming. I've been here for about an hour. Matt Gates, who hates cancel culture, actually got on a plane and earned frequent cancel culture miles for himself. Oh, and when I say Liz Cheney is a rival, I don't mean she's a Democrat. She's a Republican, like Matt. She's a rival of Matt Gates because she has integrity. The integrity of her convictions and she tells the truth. And if you do that, if you stick to what you believe, you don't lie and you treat people with respect, you can't get canceled. But if you're a hypocrite, liar, racist, misogynist, homophobic, or just hate for no reason, you're probably a Republican in Congress in 2021. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. (sighs) Ah.
God, I hope that doesn't get me canceled. 